Hi, I'm on the Secure Secret Detection team. Today, I'm going to demo two ways to skip secret push protection scanning. The first way is via a git push option from the command line, and the second is via a special commit message that you can use with the CLI or Web IDE. We're also going to check out the audit events that these skips generate. Secret push protection, or pre-received secret detection, blocks secrets like keys and API tokens from being pushed to your GitLab instance. So in my demo project, let's create a new file and add a fake secret. This one is a GitLab personal access token. Let's add, then commit, and then we'll try to push it. And here we see that secret push protection blocked the commit from being pushed. In some cases, we may need to skip secret push protection. For example, right now I'm demoing how to commit a dummy secret to my repo, so let's skip secret detection. First, let's use the skip push option. If we include the option dash o secret detection dot skip all, we'll see that the push goes through and the dummy secret makes it to our MR. If you're an admin or on the security team for your project, you may be interested to see when your project members are skipping secret detection. So we have an audit event here to see that secret detection was skipped via a push option. Next, let's use the special commit message to skip secret detection. Like the push option, you can use this with the CLI, but if you don't have access to the CLI, like when you're using the web IDE, this is the skip method that you'll want to use. Today, I'll show you using the web IDE. So same thing, we want to add a fake GitLab personal access token, then commit it and try to push. We'll see that we're blocked by secret push protection. Now let's change the commit message to include the string skip secret detection in brackets. Let's try again, and now the push is successful and the secret is in our repo. Let's check our audit events again, and we can see that secret detection was skipped via commit message. So this has been a demo of how to skip secret push protection. If you're interested in enabling secret push protection in your projects, the beta is already available for GitLab dedicated and is expected to be available for GitLab.com customers in our upcoming 17.1 release. For updates, follow this epic, linked in the video description, and if you've got any questions, reach out to someone on the Secure Secret Detection team. Thanks!